Okay, guys, we have a few different methods how to get alpha channel and how to separate uh, object uh, from background, how to change sky. So first of them is uh, CryptoMat Pass. If you don't have uh, any dope and any motion blur, you can use a CryptoMat Pass. This is the simplest method. Uh, we can enable CryptoMat Pass in um, Movie Render Queue plugin. Uh, we need to add object ID limited and uh, we need to export and uh, we need to render uh, your sequence in EXR and enable multi-layer. Then uh, we need to compose in software, for example, Foundry Nuke. And if you want to uh, get alpha channel, uh, for example, from Sky, uh, we can use uh, CryptoMat Pass, CryptoMat Node. Let me show you. This is alpha channel. And um, I can add, for example, something on the background using this uh, simple method. Or if you want to separate this guy from uh, environment, uh, we can also use CryptoMat Pass. There are no any uh, DOF and big motion blur because uh, CryptoMat Pass inside Unreal Engine 5 don't work with uh, DOF and uh, motion blur. Let me pick all these elements and uh, we have alpha channel on this guy. Then we can use uh, copy node, copy this alpha and make or multiply on this guy. And also this method work, works in uh, animation, in stills, and um, this is very very simple method but you can use uh, this method in your projects next very powerful method how i can get alpha channel on my environment on my sky this is skylight uh, so i can use hdri backdrop uh, to get nice hdri uh, global illumination in this part also, uh, and I have uh, removed uh, HDRI backdrop in my, uh, from my lighting and I'm going to use uh, only skylight. Let's go to window, environment light mixer and let's create uh, skylight, this one, and move this guy into my lighting folder. Inside skylight uh, we have source type and I'm going to change this uh, source type to to this second method and in the cube map uh, I'm going to set a GRI map for example this one and I get a nice um, environment light we can decrease intensity for example 0 0.1 and next step I'm going to activate my render movie queue plugin inside the uh, Movie Render Queue, we have a um, uh, EXR sequence uh, for output and also in the Farad Render, I'm going to activate this checkbox, Accumulator includes Alpha. And when you activate this checkbox, Unreal asks you enable uh, in um, settings, project settings, then uh, go to engine, engine Rendering. Inside Rendering, I'm going to find Post-Processing tab. In this field, I'm going to act activate uh, Tone Mapper, this one. And uh, Unreal asks you to restart uh, your engine and uh, compile all shaders. Then you can render uh, your environment, your sky with alpha channel. Press accept and render local. My render completed and let's go to Foundry Nuke. I got this sequence. And uh, if you enable alpha channel, hotkey A, I can find my black alpha in my background, in my environment part. So this is a really working and a very powerful method uh, how we can render your projects with um, alpha and change uh, sky and uh, replace, for example, sky. So I have a simple scene uh, with static camera, no any movement. I have sequencer, 10 frames, static animation, and I want to render, for example, these two chairs on alpha channel uh, without uh, any background, any another object. First I need to do, I need to create a layer for these two chairs. Uh, let's go to layer tab, 
if your liar tab is disabled uh, you need to go to window tab and activate liars in window menu next we, we need to create new liar uh, we can just uh, press right mouse button or we can drag some actors from the outliner but uh, simplest way is select ob objects you need and press right mouse button and press add selected actors to new liar this liar should be for example foreground uh, if you want you can go inside this layer just press this small uh, blue button and we can see two elements inside my layer if you need go to layer list you need to press this small button next we need to open movie render queue just press this button and we need to create setup for my rendering let's create all from scratch press green button select my sequence with my camera go to unsave it config uh, disable or delete JPEG preset, activate EXR preset, uh, also check multiplier. Next we need simply go to uh, deferred rendering and activate accumulator includes alpha. Firstly if you open new project, if you create new project, Unreal ask you to activate uh, some important moment. Uh, we need to go to project settings, search alpha and uh, in engine rendering we need to activate uh, this menu we need to change disable to allow trolls uh, tone mapper uh, we need to add the um, default layer and we need to add my foreground layer i have created just press plus button and in this none button we can select my foreground layer with two actors and all these actors will be rendered with alpha channel separately without any objects on the ground press accept also we need to set folder for output uh, set resolution project's name and other and press accept we can add anti-aliasing variables and other stuff you need i just show uh, this example only to understand this simple method so uh, my movie render key setup is uh, ready and i need to press render local waiting a few seconds to render 10 frames and let's go to compositing software for example nuke uh, we need to open my sequence this one uh, set up a resolution of my project and we can check my render layers yeah all is working and um, you can um, separate this uh, render layer um, using for example a shuffle node you can pre-move this um, rgb by alpha and compose these two elements oh, we need to activate alpha channel in uh, shuffle so we only export rdb channel and set alpha and we can uh, work on this element so this method is uh, with little box we can see the small box if you uh, use uh, 16 uh, samples in anti-aliasing uh, this alpha channel is uh, will be cleaner in some cases we can get black halo on borders on uh, my separate objects uh, in uh, gray alpha so to avoid this we need to add a color output layer and check a disabled tone curve um, this one and uh, we can create a, a better uh, border layer in my objects